I've been hiding, fighting, jailed in every single state you can name Cause I'm bad news Hi, I'm uh, Nick Trahan, freelance photographer. And, uh, I used to work as a press photographer, but I've been freelancing now for about nine years. Well, I love photographing people and I love meeting people. So the project is simply um, photographing portraits of people in Penarth, people who live, uh, work, or, or even visit Penarth. It's going to be called Penarth People, a nice ring to it. Uh, the aim initially was to shoot about uh, maybe a hundred people, up to about a hundred people, but I think the way things are going, it's snowballing. Um, so I can't really. The, the, there's no reason really why there should be an end to it. I can just carry on and on and on and on and on. Uh, I put a proposal in for a, an exhibition uh, at Penarth Pier. Yeah. I'm waiting to hear whether that will be successful. Uh, and I'd also like to produce a book, you know, with the portraits in it. So a really nice book of black and white photo uh, photography. And then we have a final image like that. So I've been working as a photographer for over 20 years now. Yeah. But it hasn't been work. It, uh, we say it beats working for a living, being a photographer. It's great fun. Yeah, no worries, I'll pop in People think it's a great idea and are probably wondering why no one's done it before. So, and I'm asking myself why didn't I do it before? But, uh, but I've got the answer to that. I do have the answer to why I didn't do it before. And the answer is this camera here. Because I love this camera. And, uh, it's a very small Fuji camera and it just allows me to work very quickly. Um, everyone that I photographed has been really up for it and has really embraced the idea and the project. The first person I started with was a friend of mine who's a church organist. Um, he's in his 80s um, but he, he's a good friend, you know. I'll meet uh, Derek, his name is Derek Lane. And I needed somebody to photograph initially and with that photograph I could show other people and explain to them what the idea was. And, um, and with that, to be honest, I've, I was just approaching people, people that I'd not really met before. The, I think the second image I did was a local barber, and I just walked in and introduced myself. Um, and then it's kind of gone on from there, and, and I've met some uh, subjects, some people that I've photographed, who've said to me, you have to photograph this person. I've got a great idea, why don't you do this person? You've got to do this person. Uh, so I've got a really long list now. The musician I mentioned, uh, John Lewis, uh, and interestingly that was shot early in the morning, about half an hour after there was an eclipse of the sun. Got a lovely portrait of John underneath Penarth Pier. Okay. Ah, the councillor, um, Ian Courtney. I would see from time to time uh, in a local pub, where sometimes I play music, and he'd come in there and he'd be wearing a pork pie hat, um, and a, like a gabardine mac, and I thought that's an interesting image anyway, in its own right. You know. I knew I had a photograph that I was happy with. Um, and, and then he suggested, I think, uh, that you know, he just jumped in the air and took his hat off. And, and there's a couple of nice frames there. But I've decided to go with a straight image because town councillor jumping in the air, doffing his hat. I don't know. Nice image. Doesn't really say what he does. Um, I think... Members of the public love black and white photography. It's timeless, really. Personal taste. Colour can sometimes be distracting. Most photographers, I guess, are um, quite artistic and creative people. So I, I can't really say that music, you know, in itself helps my photography, but it's certainly part of myself as, uh, as a creative person. I'll just keep finding more and more people that I'll want to photograph and uh, there's no reason to stop it really. I'll have a book, I might have volume two, I might do a volume three, uh, we'll see how it goes.